Euzubillahimineşşeytanirracim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. La havle ve la kuvvet. İlla billahil aleyhil azim. Acim edin. Elhamdülillah. Bakalım çeşmeyi açtığında ne gelecek? Allah Allah Allah Allah Ya Şeyh İdris Seyyid Meded ya Resulallah Euzubillahimineşşeytanirracim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim No one knowing what is going to be tomorrow That means no one knowing about his destination. Destination is a secret program for servants. how they should live through their days, through their years, through their ages, what is going to come on them It is written and everyone just moved on that orbit. Orbit. وَكُنُّوا فِي فَلَكٍ يَسْبَحُونَ سَعَلَى اللَّهِ صَدَقَ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمِ Everyone must keep his orbit It is a heavenly wisdom not to show their destinations because if it is going to be open coming something to people because they are in a trial. Allah Almighty trying His servants with goodness, with badness, Hayrihi ve şerrihi. Goodness and badness. Examining. Trying his servants. 
when you are going to be in examining room, teachers giving to you a chance to carry your books, then questions coming to you. This is not examination. Country. And divinely examination just it put on every <coughs> clever one and everyone who reached the age of maturity and they didn't know and you are reached the age of maturity you are entering the area of examining you have been offered through every kind of actings. To be with Allah, not to be with your ego, not to be with shaitan. Every movement and every acting that you are doing after the age of maturity, you are under examination. He is looking. Where to where my <coughs> servant going on? <coughs> to where he is moving? Early morning, awakening and taking yourself either with some instruments or mostly citizens with their Samsonites taking their cars or they taking their buses to where they are moving what is their intention <coughs> yes we are living in 21st century according christian calendars and Islamic calendar we are living on 15th century. Do you think that those heedless governments, Christians, they may be excused because they are servants of this life. They appointed themselves to be servants for dunya, not for mawla. Yes? 
Western countries. All of them, they are happy to be servants of dunya, servants for their egos, servants for their physical desires, servants of shaitan. They are officially registered themselves that we are only belonging to this life and we are living only for this life and we are our whole efforts for this life and the essence of our life philosophy. Yes? It is only to try to make much more tasteful life for our physical being. That is beginning and end of our life philosophy and its essence. Yes? They are not trying for anything else. They left their churches. No more they are building churches. They left their cathedrals. No more built cathedrals. If they are building somewhere churches, they are making it so quickly that three months or six months finishing with concrete building. I heard that in the Vatican, what is that famous cathedral, his name? St. Peter, Sultan. Huh? St. Peter. St. Peter. 25 years they built it. Because they were sincere through their beliefs and they were giving their whole uh, power, uh, abilities or capacities mindly and physically to make it in a perfect position. Now, if the same people asking to build a new church, as I am looking in Greek side also, now new church is just built, but it is so ugly buildings, not like before. Because builders they are giving from their face and working that face on the stones. They are saying this for our Lord. We must give our whole ability, capacity <coughs> to make it as much as possible beautiful. Yeah. No more cathedrals, no more, uh, more than cathedral, what is that, their name? Uh, biggest than, huh? Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome. Dome.
No, usually it's churches and cathedral. There cathedral. is another name. More big. Yeah. What is it? Monasteries? No, no. no, no. Abbey, Abbey, Sultan. Say! Basilia. Chapels, Basilica. Basilica. Chapel is the smallest yeah, one. Smallest, yeah. Abbey. Yeah, he's speaking. Basilica. Basilica, Sultan. Huh? Basilica. Basilica. Basilica. Mandelica? No, Basilica. Ah, Basilica. Basilica. Basilica means Sultan. Sultan's building, Emperor's building. Basilica. Yeah, yes, yes. Now finish. People, no one working for their beliefs. And they never taking any care to teach their generations to, to learn <coughs> about their Lord and to do everything for his honor, to do everything for his glory. No. Western people, they are poisoned. Poisoned with this Temp uh, temporary life and its uh, uh, beauty, temporary beauties, or you may say uh, they are they are all just cheated by outward looking and. Uh, decoration or everything we are trying to make a big show that that big shows gravity may carry their souls to that show therefore their interest just finished for their Lord's glory. They are heedless. Therefore, they are not teaching to their children, new generation, the uh, Western government is never going to teach them for what or for whom they must do, they must give their efforts. They finished this. It was fully heedless. Mm. Even they are making uh, their holidays or your two uh, holidays like Christmas. They are making it only for their physical being. They are not entering in it in meaning. They are making so magnificent uh, screens, magnificent display, uh, display, decoration that their mind can't carry. And everything making for Christmas only for their physical being. No any uh, gravity for them to carry them 
into their holy places, instead to go to their churches and cathedrals and basilicas, they are running through streets. Millions of people, because <laughs> they are building only playing rooms, <coughs> they are building only what it is giving to their physical being a taste, building hundreds and thousands of at that places instead to build churches because they cut it down and their whole relationship for their physical being. They are living only to make their physical being happy and joyful. Now they are doing, in, it is perhaps today, Christmas Day, they are saying, <coughs> from year to year, they are running after it. From year to year, or this day. And they are sitting 24 hours and drinking, enjoying them, they are enjoying their thinking, enjoying their physical being. That is their way. But no blame on them. Because no more gravity from their beliefs to carry people. And what about Muslim world? They are teaching Europeans, Western countries, teaching their life philosophy to do everything for dunya, for this life. Beyond this life, no any hope for them. They are accepting this. They are materialist and worshipping to material and beyond that material no and no more anything. But what about Muslims? Muslims <coughs> that they are saying we are believing in Allah Almighty. And we are believing that this life it is a temporary life and beyond this life going to come a permanent period up to eternity. That is our, our belief's main pillar. Muslims' belief's main pillar is to believe for eternal life. If a person not believing, can't be Muslim. That is Akhir. That is our difference between Christian world and Jewish world. And our world is we are believing for eternal life, eternity, and we are giving our efforts to make 
our eternal life in our Lord the only present up to eternity. What about all Muslims, Muslim countries? Which country <coughs> teaching their children first to say to them, Oh, youngsters, you must know that You must know that you have been created and you are generation of Adam. And then Allah Almighty just honored you to be from the generation of Adam and Eve and giving another honor to you that you are from the nation of most praised servant Sayyidina Muhammad, peace be upon him, Ummata Muhammad, another honor. That whole prophets even, they were asking to be one person, ordinary person, without any title from the from his nation. And he also honored you to be mi mi from Millet Ibrahim. The people that they were with Sayyidina Abraham, friend of Allah Almighty, they are so, so sincere and full with love to Sayyidina Ibrahim, because Sayyidina Ibrahim was full with love for his uh, Lord Almighty Allah, through the way of Allah Almighty's most beloved servant, Sayyidina Muhammad. Because Sayyidina Abraham can't reach directly to love of Allah Almighty, but through the love of most praised one, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes, we know that, and in which country they are teaching through their official uh, schools or uh, colleges or universities, where they are teaching these honors for their children, for their generation, to, to teach them about their honors and to, to teach them that when you have been honored with such a honors, that it is eternal honors for you here and hereafter up to eternity, to, to be said to them, O oh, children, O oh, new generation, O oh, young, oh, youngsters, you must know that you have been granted such a honors that no one can give any value on it. <coughs> You have been created and honored there for all youngsters or all our children. You must try to work for that one who 
honored you with such a uh, honor that no one can grant to you such a honor any anywhere in Egypt you think <coughs> in Hijaz in Damascus in Baghdad in Iran Libya Turkey uh, Pakistan uh, Jazair Tunus Fas where Sudan a, a which which country teaching their children in such a way therefore they have been excused Western people, but no excuse for Muslims. No excuse. If they are coming on them one punishment, coming on Islamic world ten punishment. May Allah forgive us. Amen. That's the important. Therefore, we are saying about uh, our uh, destination. Destination. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but we know that tomorrow what we must do. It is just veil happenings for tomorrow doesn't matter. But we know that anything may come on uh, people because they are in under a trial, they are examining, but they must know that everything may be, everything can be, everything can happen, but we are direction <coughs> is towards Allah <coughs> and events and happenings can't be uh, can't prevent ourselves from moving <coughs> towards Allah Almighty and to give our best <coughs> glorifying For Allah, happening may be from any kind, but we must know that we are living for Him, and He is trying ourselves with goodness and badness. Therefore, happenings never harming uh, appearances of our destination. Never, never. Uh, um, uh, preventing, never preventing ourselves from moving towards Allah Almighty. He is examining when he is looking that our our intentions never change then this uh, hindrance going to open and we pass forward. We pass forward to reach Allah Almighty's pleasure. May Allah forgive us Amen. and give us a good understanding. Amen. People Amen. lost it. Amen. Islamic world was 
they are, they are thinking themselves tail, making Western people happy, but they are happy to be their tails. Muslim world, it is big blame on them to follow Western people through their minds, through their efforts, through their uh, beliefs. May Allah forgive us Amen. and send us someone to correct Amen. our Muslim world Amen. as well as Christian world Amen. on the right way towards to Allah Almighty. And we are asking his beliefs, uh, asking his believing uh, blessings and asking uh, from him Forgiveness, Amen. Allah Almighty, Amen. for the honor, most honored one in His divine presence, Sayyidina Muhammad. Fatiha. Amen. Ya Rabbi, send me mercy. Mahim, Masalabu. And you haven't done what you do. Sheikh Ahmed, yeah, we hope that Allah Almighty supports his sincere servants and send us Saint Al Mahdi alayhi salam to correct. Every wrong step from Muslims and uh, non Muslims to make their efforts and steps towards their Lord's pleasure. Amen. Amen.